When you're first getting out of school, your first inclination is, I just need a job. I need to be able to pay the rent. You know, I hope someone will want to hire me somewhere. And I think you're much less discriminating at that point about what that is. And you probably don't even know to ask the questions, you know, is this a culture that I want to be in? Are these people collaborative? Are they team oriented? Or is it a more divisive and competitive culture? And, and I think early on people don't know to make those distinctions or maybe even uh, to know how to observe them right away. Um, over time, I think you begin to develop a radar if you can step into an environment and very quickly get a sense of what that corporate culture is and what is valued there and you know whether or not that's something that you can connect with. But early on, you're pretty much just desperate to have something to do. But I remember thinking very deliberately um, the first time I became a manager of what, and I still have the piece of paper, it's on my little fidelity letterhead, what did I want to do as a manager? And it had to do with things like make sure I communicated and make sure I gave credit for what other people were doing and to make sure that I was providing adequate context and that I would give feedback in the moment. And I recently looked at that list and before I looked at it I wrote my list today and then I went and I looked and compared my list from my very first management job. And there was actually quite a lot of similarities. What was different was that the first job was much more about managing and the second list now after 25 years was really more about leading and it had a lot more to do with inspiring and motivating and touching at the heart of things and giving people a bigger reason, a bigger meaning for why they would want to do what they need to do. So, And I could see that that was something that had evolved from my experiences and from having over time managed many, many more people. Um, the difference between the person worrying about how do I run a staff meeting and someone who's thinking about how can I change a culture and um, evolve a company.